Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda. I'm on a journey to get my family nurse practitioner and I will be done in October of 2021. So I'm actually currently in my pediatric um, portion doing my rotation there, my clinical rotation. And it's on the campus here where I'm actually just taking a quick walk. I walked over to another building to have my final course for clinical the paperwork filled out so that I can precept with one of the preceptors that I've used previously. So that's what I have here and I am getting ready to head back into the pediatric clinical rotation now. She let me leave so I could go and get this paperwork filled out which was awesome and grab my lab jacket that I forgot with when I was at this specific doctor's office the last time. So today I am just going to give you guys an update on the kinds of patients that we see in the pediatric clinical rotation today and if you too are on your journey to getting your family nurse practitioner these kinds of videos might interest you. Um, kind of let you know what to expect give you some tips and tricks along the way and additionally I have some free printables go ahead and check in the description box below as well as if you're thinking about going to LPN school or you know someone who is I have a video that I think you will find very helpful so I will link that above and below as well all right let's get in get started and I'll recap with you when I'm done Okay, so as you can see, I need a little pick-me-up. Um, I stopped and got some coffee and some creamer on the way to clinical today. And so I decided to go ahead and have some of said coffee and creamer. I'm actually really close to my house for this clinical rotation, so I'm running home to have lunch. And then I walked uh, half a mile this morning, so I'll probably walk another half a mile um, this afternoon after I get done eating. And then thought I would share with you guys quickly that we had a patient come in who was four years old and he came in he was in the emergency room yesterday and they diagnosed him with bronchitis and said his ears looked good everything else checked out fine but he felt really really terrible and so of course he was still feeling terrible today and mom brought him in, thankfully, for an appointment. Let me set you down here. And I'm super glad she did because as it unfolds, he actually had bilateral acute otitis at media, like significantly, and it was more so in the right, but definitely in both. And the right side was so much, like there was just so much bulging and extremely dark earwax. It was just was very, very significant um, otitis media. So of course he was starting on um, Augmentin for that and also had bilateral conjunctivitis and she actually diagnosed him with bronchiolitis, which is what little ones are normally diagnosed with instead of bronchitis. So that was interesting. I'm glad I was able to see that ear. I've seen several ear infections and been able to visualize you know, the structures in the ear, um, pretty good up until this point, but being able to see the infections like that repeatedly, I think is going to be really good clinical experience and to just help me further, um, when I'm treating patients on my own. So, and then wrapped up the afternoon with a patient, um, more of like a depression anxiety type situation i did not go in the room for that one because it was an initial evaluation and setup appointment and she just wanted to make sure that the patient who was rather young was comfortable to share with her and of course it would be harder to share with two brand new people um, and so i may share some of that pamphlet that booklet in case you ever deal with anxiety and depression and negative self-talk and things like that in your patients um, you can see a resource that i was flipping through earlier and reading quite a bit of it actually and it was very very helpful so this was a nine-year-old patient and they have a workbook that they work through and then they bring it back into their appointments so that was really really interesting so i'm gonna go ahead and head home grab some lunch and I will recap again at the end of the day and let you know what else we got into today. All right, just finished up my pediatric family nurse practitioner clinical for the day. Wanted to give you guys an update on the kind of patients that we saw today in the office. We saw a lot of acute otitis media and we had a couple of behavioral health concerns. 
Okay, so back in the car, uh, we had several sports physicals because tis the season to go ahead and come in and get those sports physicals done. And just some interesting things from today. Um, the nurse practitioner that I'm with is subpoenaed to a court case next week. So my typical day for clinical is Wednesday with her. However, I'll be finishing up my women's health clinical rotation um, on Wednesday of next week. So I'll be able to pick up and do Thursday and potentially Friday for my pediatric rotation. So yeah, pediatric clinicals is going great. I got a chance to go in today and do just a basic history assessment. Um, you know, what brings you into the office today? What kind of symptoms are you having? When did they start? And so on and so forth. So that was nice to be able to go in and start talking to mamas and, and families and getting that baseline pediatric assessment down. Um, I am inserting here for you guys a couple of moments of the books I flipped through to show you the behavioral. It's called the COPE uh, plan and it basically just teaches kids how to deal with their emotions, how to process their feelings, what to do with all of these new things that they're experiencing and how to kind of make sense of it all. Um, talking about negative self-talk and how to turn that into positive self-talk and increase um, self-esteem in individuals who are struggling with low self-esteem. And so just made some referrals for counseling today. Mental health is is huge in the culture that we live in. Mental health is definitely something that needs to be talked about more and more education given and just caring and compassionate um, healthcare workers are definitely definitely needed in this day and age. So that's pretty much in a nutshell what I saw in my pediatric clinical rotation today. If you like seeing videos like this, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, comment below, and let me know that you stopped by. And what types of topics would you like to see covered on the channel? I would love to make a video with your name on it. All right, so yeah, become an MP with me. I'm just an average Jane doing my thing, and I would love to have you come along for the journey. All right, friend, I'll see you in the next video.